I didn't think you could, but Dragon Ball, you done did it again, nerd soul. Late ill kid at one young so holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah, coming with another wonderful episode of movie reviews. That is right. It's, it's not going to be the same as normal because this is a film that is out. It's limited, but I've seen a lot of people not being pressed to see it. Like, I've, I've messaged some people like, have you checked this out? Are you willing to go check this out? And they've been like, no, nah, you know, I'll catch it whenever. And I was surprised because this is something that after seeing the last series, I was definitely interested in, which is, of course, Dragon Ball Super Brawly. And instead of just talking about straight up what I thought, I'm giving you three reasons you need to see this. If, you, if you're into anime, if you're into Dragon Ball especially, get off your butt, all right? You ain't, you're on your couch. You ain't doing nothing, you know what I'm saying? Go and see the movie, you know what I'm saying? Look, it's, it's definitely gonna be up your alley. And I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you why, you know, just, just relax. We're gonna get into it with number three, which is the lore. Uh, I, you know I'm a lore person. I love learning more about the world surrounding these people and what was going on and what the history was like. And this movie gives you a lot of that. This, this movie gives you the history behind a lot of characters, what their mindset was like way back in the day, you know, when, when Vegeta was just a wee tot. You know, I love seeing Planet Vegeta the way it was, seeing the Saiyans how they were, seeing their society, what they went through, how their, their mannerisms were, and their relationship with King Cold. I really enjoyed that. It, it painted Dragon Ball in a new light for me. And of course, we've seen flashback stuff before, but this movie does a very good job of filling in a lot of gaps and, and showing us a lot of relationships and just a lot of society and culture stuff in Saiyans that I just had never seen done this way before and it was done extremely well. So props to that, the lore, they just really go a long way to filling in what it was like to be a Saiyan at that time, how they operated, their, their hierarchy, all of that, and their society in general. It was just really cool how they weaved that in in a way that wasn't boring in a way that didn't seem overly verbose or corny. And I really got to give them some love for that. But I'm going to move on into my number two, which is Brawly. Uh, and, and hang on with me, because of course the, the original Brawly stuff is not technically canon. So we, we're throwing that out. So right now we're finding out who this person is, who this man is, who this kid is that, you know, was super duper powerful and, you know, why he got that way or how he was that way and how society looked at him, how people looked at him, how his father looks at him, how, you know, even uh, you know, Vegeta and, and the other Saiyans and everybody kind of like outcasted him. And we get to see a different side this time of how this story is told and how they fill out his life and how he was raised and how he came up, you know, from the bottom and now he's here, which I think is so much better than the original, because the original version was like, this guy is this mindless dude, he's super strong, and it worked for kind of like those OVAs where you just get a whole bunch of dope action scenes, but we never really, it, it was just, it was kind of like he was doomsday, just this mindless freak that just, just had a war path and would just fight anyone. And which I guess you could say is sort of cool, but seeing the, the family life, the relationship between his father and himself, stuff like that is, is, is just stuff that I dig. I really like seeing these relationships, seeing the world around him, how he matured, how he grew up, what he was exposed to, what he wasn't exposed to, those, thing, those type of things that really make it great, especially when you relate those to like Frieza and, and you know, the Frieza Force and all that stuff. It's, it's really good to see this character become a character instead of just being kind of like this mindless monster. Now we're gonna save number one for just a second because of course we do a lot of cool stuff, whether it's anime or whatever, but first, Kira Brand's gonna help us pay them bills. Oh, 
Oh yeah, check that link below. Hat shirts, hoodies, all that jazz. And once you find something you like, of course, cop it. Now, before I get into my number one, I did want to stop off and just say that bottom line, since uh, the Re revival of F, it's just good to see Dragon Ball on the big screen, straight up. You know, whether you're like Chala, Hey Chala, all that. It's, it's just beautiful seeing them on the screen big with the new, with just high definition, the moves are larger than life, and then the voices, it's really cool just seeing it big, period. And I'm thinking about going back. If you're in the LA area, holla at me. Maybe I'll go see it again, and we can go chill and all that. But slide that to the side, because we did number three. You know, we talked about the lore, about stretching it out. Number two, making Brawly an actual character. And you know, you know your boy, you know who I am. You know, you know me, you come, come on. Come on, you know who I am. Number one, which is the action. Boy, they do not disappoint in this joint at all. Matter of fact, due to the way they streamline the story, especially on the Earth side, they don't play when it comes to the action. And they, they find interesting and funny ways to turn the tide in a lot of fight scenes. You got Goku, you got Vegeta, you got Beerus, Wiz, they're all there. They, you know, kind of chilling, kind of doing their earth thing. And then you got, you know, you got Frieza there, you got Brawly there. But the way this fight, the way the conversation about the fight plays out is incredible. Larger than life, great moves, great kind of like throws, different holes, you know, breaking out of throws, the different, you know, the command mail wave, all, you get all of your standard stuff, but then you get some new tricks, some new kind of keyframes that you're like, oh, that's, that's a poster right there. It's just some dope stuff, whether you're Vegeta, Goku, or Brawly, they all get to shine in different ways in this. And it's, man, it is fun to see. The action in this is top notch, it's stellar. Uh, there's a couple things that I was like, yo man, I wish this was just a little bit longer so I could see this or that, but I was served as a Dragon Ball fan extremely well. The action in here is not only hard hitting, not only fast paced, but it takes, I think, what is the best of Dragon Ball action and kind of like condenses it for you so you can like enjoy the, the main cool parts of Dragon Ball action and then like the slower, more kind of repeated process because when you're doing TV animation, you gotta repeat a lot of stuff. It kind of leaves that to the side. Um, I dig it. I dig kind of like the new effects match with kind of like the hand drawn kind of aesthetic. The, there's so much to enjoy here. This movie is definitely dope. So whether you're looking for lore, to learn more about Sans, to learn more about Planet Vegeta, to learn more about Raditz, if you're trying to see Brawly be an actual character, if you're trying to see that action on a grand scale, like you ain't seen it before, this movie is for you. And yo, that straight up, action, five stars. You know what I'm saying? Brawly, finally, worth a five star. And getting this lore that just stuff that I like to know about, you know, Saiyans, their culture, five stars, man. This is a fun movie. And you're gonna laugh, you're gonna be like, oh snap, you're gonna enjoy it a lot. So if you've seen it, holla at me, I'ma holla at you. Down in the comments, let's talk Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Brawly, Dragon, whatever, whatever you wanna call this movie. I've seen some people call it Dragon Ball Super Brawly, Dragon Ball Brawly. Look, you know what the movie is. It's in the theater, get yourself a ticket, go see it, and then we can talk down and below. Now, if you're spoiling it, this is spoiler free, so make sure you put spoiler all caps, then hit enter like 60 times, and then talk. Don't just be putting stuff all out there, all on front street. But until next time, I'm gonna tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. Don't forget to get one for them playettes. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right, there's no better way that I can show people that you I like what you are watching. So, LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart. And please be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other and hurry up and see this movie. Because trust me, it's worth your time. Peace.